Hi everyone, it's Coach Fred, and today we're going to be looking at uh, video 0D on domain and range. Um, I'd like us to look at what I asked you to do um, in the previous video. It asked you to, um, you were given two linear equations, and it asked which one was a function and which one was not. So we've spent a lot of time in the beginning of the year, I really wanted you to understand that these two linear functions are actually quite special. Um, this one represents a horizontal line. And this one represents a vertical line. So let's see if w when you tried this yourself, um, you use this maybe approach. So when I look at this horizontal line, if I actually considered it as a table of values, so remember, this is a symbolic representation. Um, this would be then a numeric. So if I thought about this, if I, um, if I took a lot of different points, I'm sorry, not, not, not going to zero, zero, one, two, my y, no matter what, would always be 5. Now, graphically, we could see that as well. We'd have a horizontal line, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And here's this line going through it. If you picked any point on it, the y coordinate would always be 5. So that means that for every x, I'm going to have a unique y. I don't have any repeated x values. A vertical line slightly different, OK? This is saying that no matter what, the, the, the x is going to be 2. And the y's are going to be different. And if I graph that, it looks like this. Right? And so you can see that that 2 is, is going to remain the same. It's going to remain constant. It's always going to be 2. So that's going to have repeated x's with different y's. So they're not unique. Um, one method that I gave you just to help you remember these two lines was Hoivux, right? Hoivux, a horizontal line has a zero slope and its equation will be y equals a number. A vertical line has an undefined slope and its equation would be x equals a number. So you might have thought of that when you were, you know, originally looking at y and x. All right, so why is this important? Well, today we're going to be talking about the vertical line test. So uh, the vertical line test is actually the way to see if a graph is a function. So a relation is a function if and only if. No vertical line intersects the graph of the relation at more than one point. If a vertical line passes through two or more points on the graph, then the relation is not a function. Why? Well, because a vertical line is not a function. It has repeated x's with different y's. So you can use that to tell if a graph's a function. So let me draw a vertical line. I'm gonna draw one so I can grab it and take it with me. So here's a vertical line. I think everybody would agree it's my best vertical line. If I draw this through this other line, it only is gonna hit the graph once, which means it doesn't have any repeated x's. But when I get over to this graph, oh, it's got a repeat x here and at the, the top and the bottom, so this circle is not a function. Now I'm moving on to the parabola quadratic function. Nope, only hits the graph one time. So you can see that these would, this, uh, the first one would be, yes, it is a function. The circle, no, it is not a function. And the last one, uh, yes, it is a function. Okay, let's look at one more. You try. Okay, take your vertical line, grab it, and let's see. This is the absolute value function and it only hits it one time. So yes, it is a function. All right, guys, so that's a little bit about how the vertical line test works. Um, you'll be moving on to the next video tonight. Have a great day.